Here's a little tutorial on the Honeywell wireless thermostat, equipment interface module, and return air sensor. So you would use these if you have a situation where you have to install a thermostat, but you can't put a wire in the wall, or it would take too much time to put a wire in the wall, etc. Okay, so the way this works is it works through Redlink, which is Honeywell's wireless frequency that communicates between wireless devices all right so the first thing you do is you of course have to buy a thermostat that has a red link and it'll say it on the box or in this case if you buy them all together then they all work together so basically you're going to take the unit let's say you have a package unit or if you have a split unit then we're going to be using the air handler you're going to wire the equipment interface module with thermostat wires straight to the air handler or to the package unit and then you're going to take this and you're going to put it under the house or you're going to put it in the attic it can't be outside and it can't be inside the unit so you're going to wire this straight to the air handler and then the thermostat is going to communicate wirelessly to the interface module and the interface module is going to send the signal to the air handler Okay, so it's pretty simple and I'm going to walk you through on a video. The return air sensor is optional and what that does is that gets wired into this equipment interface module in case the thermostat loses signal with the module then the module is going to keep the system on on a safe temperature. For example, if it's zero degrees outside and this loses connection with this then the Honeywell is going to keep the house 70 degrees or something safe until they can fix it. So that's what that's for. Okay, so let's do a quick walkthrough on how we do this. Okay, so once you get the module wired, then you're going to hit the connect button. You're going to wait for the light to blink. And then you're going to go to your thermostat and you're going to follow the instructions. Okay, so the instructions say hit next, wireless setup, press next to change the zone name, okay, change zone name only if you have more than one thermostat, which I don't, press connect to establish a link to the wireless network, okay, so we're going to skip this, we're going to hit connect. After a brief pause, the confirmation screen at left should be displayed to verify that the wireless connection has been established. Okay, we have connected. So we're going to hit done. Boom. Yeah.